So you guys remember how last night I said that I just wanted to hang out, live stream, and just chill at the house last night for Halloween? Didn't end up happening. Well, yes and no. It kind of did and it kind of didn't. So I'm going to tell you guys a little backstory behind it, all right? Last night, fucking awesome night. I did my Halloween stream. It was really fun. Not that many kids even showed up to my house. I think it was like seven to ten kids that showed up. It wasn't even that crazy because every year, usually it's like fucking 30. But in all, it was just fucking awesome and it was a super cool night. And... My sleep schedule is back to being fucked up. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but it, it's really bad, okay? Like, it got to be, like, 5 in the morning when everything ended. Like, I ended the stream, obviously, earlier in the night. But I kind of sat on Skype till like, 5 in the morning with a few of my friends. And finally, just finally, I was like, dude, I can't fucking handle this. I'm going to bed. And you remember how yesterday I talked about that I had the option to go to a party? I didn't want to go. I thought it was just going to be too ridiculous. But as soon as I laid on in bed, I was ready to pull out my phone and just tweet goodnight and just fucking pass out. As soon as I go to bed, I pull out my phone to get on Twitter just to, you know, look at Twitter and tweet before I go to bed and my fucking phone rings okay and the person that calls me I saw the caller ID I was like no dude no because every time this kid calls me it's because he needs my help he needs something that's gonna require me getting out of bed and doing something physical and uh yeah I wasn't down for it so I answer the phone I'm like what's up dude and it's like he was on fucking crack or something he's just like yo 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 and I just replied I was like what the fuck's wrong with you he's like I need your help man I need your help I was like, okay, what, like, what do you need? I'm in bed right now. And he's just like, we need to go get someone. I was like, who? And he goes to explain this whole fucking situation that's complicated as fuck, and I was so tired I didn't even understand it. He explains to me that he went to a party with his friend. It was a girl. He went there. They were there for a really long time till really late at night. And when he was leaving, he found her, and she said that she had a ride. So he left, and then on the way back to his house, apparently he got, like, a call from her or some shit, and he didn't answer it. He missed it. And when he called her back, her phone was off. And for some reason, that just gave him the sign that... That she's still there drunk on a bunch of drugs and that she had no ride home that's what he thought from the whole situation that's what he took from it and i told him i was like dude maybe she was just calling you to say that she got home safe like are you sure this is the situation he's just like no dude i really think she's stuck there so he fucking picks me up i go to this fucking party with him or whatever was left of this party we got there there were still fucking people going hard like we got there there were some fuckers going crazy there were still people drinking and doing drugs like it was still three in the morning when in reality it was six in the morning and i couldn't even believe it like i've never seen that before so I was just like, dude, what the fuck? So I'm just like looking around and it made me so happy that I didn't go to this fucking party because it looked like it was just such an aftermath of a shithole. And I don't mean to sound like a fucking potato. I know you guys are probably like, dude, what's wrong with you? You sound like the oldest douche right now. Um, I just got over food poisoning. So seeing all that just made me like stick to my stomach. So we start searching this fucking house for this girl. My friend's looking all over. He's asking people if they've seen her. And having all these people around us made it that much harder. There was still like 20 to 30 people still fucking going hard. And it was crazy. I've never seen so many people still awake partying this early in the morning. Like the sun was rising. And I'm trying to walk around maneuvering people, like just getting over people, trying to find this girl. Um, and we couldn't fucking find her, literally nowhere to be found. And we found the owner of, like, the house, like, the kid that threw the party, and we were talking to him, and he was actually one of the most sober people out of anyone there. Um, obviously he was, like, drunk, but he wasn't, like, crazy, crazy drunk. And we explained it, and, like, we were asking if he'd seen her, and he's just like, no, I haven't seen her, man, I thought she left. And my friend's like, that's what I thought, but she called me, and I think she was still here. And after we looked around for a little bit more, we just couldn't find this girl, so we were like, you know what, dude, she's definitely not here now so we checked pretty much everywhere didn't know what to do so we just left and on our way out the kid that threw the party was outside smoking a cigarette and he goes dude i need your guys' help with something one of my girlfriend's friends is a little too fucked up and we gotta get her home can you like maybe help me like carry her out and we were like yeah of course dude that's no problem so we followed him upstairs we thought it was gonna be really easy we just thought we were just gonna you know, like carry her on our shoulders or some shit walk her out and make sure she doesn't fall down or something because we figured that she was just really drunk we get up to this kid's room, and this girl's just sitting there, like, fucked up, like, all sorts of fucked up. She looked like she took some molly that no other human has ever taken before. She was saying some shit that was just really, really, like, secretive stuff. She was telling us secrets. She was, like, sweating. And she, you could just tell that she was really fucked up, so my friends get her on their shoulders, basically, and they start walking her out. And she's just fucking fucked up. I know I keep saying that. I've said that too much. But she's just like really messed up. She just kept saying weird shit. She looked at my the kid that threw the party. She was like, I'm so horny. I'm so horny. And she said that. And I couldn't help but like smile. Because it was just kind of funny. And she's just looking at the kid that threw the party. And she's like, you're so hot. I'm so happy my friend's dating you. Like, I totally have sex with you. And we could just tell this girl was not in her right mind. Like, you could just tell that like the alcohol was talking hella hard. So we just kind of told her. We're like, yeah, you're really drunk. Maybe you should just like chill for a little bit bit and then talk later and she did live really close and we were being nice so we took her home and the drive home was fucking awkward she kept telling my friend that she was horny and needed someone to fuck with so that was weird kept asking him to have sex with her um that was really really weird i'm just sitting there like in the front seat just like dude what the fuck so we get her home 
get her inside. Like, we, like I don't know. It was really weird. We didn't even know this girl. And we get back to my house. We get back to my house. I lay in bed. And I'm literally just sitting there waiting for my friend to get a hold of this girl that we've been looking for all along. And it turns out she was home the whole fucking time. Yep. He called her, woke her up, and she was like, I got home a long time ago. What do you mean? And he's like, oh, I was worried sick. I thought you were at this party. And uh, all along, it wasn't the case at all. She was home. And that's all she was telling him. She was calling him to say that she was home safely. And we wasted our time. And all we did out of that whole thing was take some drunk girl home. But I guess that's cool because she didn't have to stay at some weird house. But it was weird, okay? And literally, right after my friend left, I was literally pulling out my phone to tweet about it. And before I could even pull my phone out of my pocket and turn my TV on, I was sleeping. And then I woke up at 4.30 and was like, fuck, my sleep schedule's ruined again. That's awesome. So, yeah, that's what has happened in my life last night for Halloween. I hope your Halloween was better than mine. But, yeah, guys, it was kind of fun, though. I'm not going to lie. It was kind of fun, but more just a pain in the ass. But I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. And, yeah, guys, I love you all so much. See you all tomorrow. Peace.